The Wichita Falls Independent School District presents information about courses in the Advanced Academic Program. If you are a parent whose children are entering junior high, you probably have a lot of questions about what courses your child should take. For example, should my child enroll in advanced courses? What are advanced courses anyway? Isn't it just a bunch of extra work for my kid? Do parents have to do anything extra if their students take advanced courses? And what about the teachers? Are the teachers of these courses better or just meaner? All of these questions will be answered in this brief video. The first question. What are advanced courses anyway? What does that mean? Advanced courses is a broad general term to describe a program that's been called many things over the past few decades. While these classes used to be called honors and are sometimes referred to as for gifted students, a better term might actually be college prep. Under this umbrella fall the classes that are referred to as pre-AP at some schools or in preparation for the IB diploma program at other campuses. But no matter what you call it, advanced courses are designed for any student who wants to work harder and achieve more than those in traditional classes. At this campus, advanced courses are referred to as pre-AP. This means that they're helping students get ready for the advanced placement or AP courses that they'll take in high school. Advanced placement is a program where students can get college credit through coursework and exams that are sponsored by the College Board. That's the same people who make SAT tests. Here's a few words to describe what the College Board says about its AP and Pre-AP programs. Pre-AP is a part of the College Board's mission to champion educational excellence and equity for all students. According to the College Board, pre-AP programs should prepare students for success in their AP courses. The program should also be inclusive, introducing skills and concepts to as many students as possible, and it should build on the strengths and interests of local students and teachers. Question number two. Why should my child sign up for advanced classes? There could be many reasons to enroll in advanced courses, but the main reason is to prepare for the college credit courses that they can take while still in high school. However, even if students do not want to take courses for college credit in high school, advanced courses can prepare them for success once they do go to college. Or, even if a student doesn't end up at a traditional university, advanced courses can still be a way to challenge the student to reach her full academic potential. Next question. Who can sign up for advanced classes? Courses in the advanced program are open to all students. This means that no one is going to be denied access to any of these advanced classes. Really, the decision to enroll in an advanced course is the choice of the child and the parents. When making your schedule, remember that students can pick from any of the four core areas for advanced classes. For example, if a student likes to read and write, she can sign up for advanced English. Or, if a student is a history buff, he can enroll in advanced social studies. Likewise, if a student's interests lie in science or mathematics, she can take these advanced courses. But a student doesn't have to take all four. Feel free to pick and choose any combination of these four courses that you like. One suggestion is that if a child has traditionally been an AB student in a particular course, then he should take the advanced course that goes along with that content area. Question 4. What should students expect when they sign up for advanced classes? If you are a student in an advanced class, you do have many responsibilities. You should expect to go at a faster pace than a regular class. Also, even though you'll be covering the same content, it will be a little harder in its depth and its complexity. Plus, students in advanced courses will be exposed to varied and more challenging tests and assessments. 
In addition, you're probably going to encounter a little heavier workload regarding out-of-class assignments, like homework and projects. Because of these things, it's very important to stay motivated. You've got to try your best, and you really need to be organized and learn ways to manage your time efficiently. Question number five. What are the responsibilities of parents? Of course, parents do have an important role in their child's academic career. First, as a parent, be willing to support your child in their decision to take advanced classes. Also, it's important to communicate with teachers if you think your child is having difficulties. And importantly, we ask parents not to freak out if their child brings home an 85 on his or her report card. You know, a lot of parents say things like, but but my child always gets A's. He's never been given a B on his report card in his life. Well, keep in mind that a B in an advanced class is really about the same as an A in a regular class. Program coordinators state that students have a better foundation for college success even if they get an 85 in an advanced course rather than getting a 95 in a regular class. Question 6. What are the responsibilities of teachers in the advanced academic program? Well, to teach advanced courses, teachers must commit to many hours of training each year. These workshops are sponsored by the College Board and the International Baccalaureate Organization with nationally recognized trainers. Also, teachers of advanced classes must work together with their colleagues to ensure the success of the entire AP or IB program, and that's in addition to what goes on in their classroom. Like all educators, teachers of advanced classes are dedicated to helping all students succeed academically. But at the same time, these teachers must maintain high academic standards. It's this combination of holding students to high levels of achievement, but helping them reach these goals, that makes teachers of advanced courses special. Next question. Can students get high school credit for any academic classes while still in junior high? Right now, the only core curriculum subject where students can get high school credit in junior high is algebra. However, taking this course requires students really to skip or compact out of at least one year of mathematics instruction. Consequently, the school district has developed a placement test to make sure students have mastered the 7th and 8th grade curriculum before moving ahead to Algebra 1 in junior high. Your counselor or math teacher will have more information. But if you are a student who is able to take Algebra in junior high, make sure it's for the right reason. The goal should be to take algebra so that you can reach AP Calculus or Statistics or the upper level IB courses as a senior and not just finish early or get your math out of the way. Question number eight. If my student tries an advanced course but doesn't do well, can we pull him out? The answer is yes. Schedule changes are allowed. But, this requires a meeting with your school counselor. And don't be surprised if the counselor tries to convince your child to stay in the advanced class. This is just an effort to encourage students to try their best and give all that they can before having to leave. Last question. How will my child benefit from the advanced academic program? Well, the main advantage to enrolling in advanced courses is preparation for college. Data shows this to be true. In 2001, the National Association of College Admissions Counselors conducted a survey about what factors have the biggest impact on getting into college. While many things play a role in college admissions, here are the top five. The application essay, class rank, of course, overall grades. Number two was the scores on college admissions tests, but the number one factor in determining college admissions was performance in college prep or advanced coursework. In other words, research shows that students who participate in advanced courses are better prepared for college and 
they will perform better in their college coursework. Students in these courses are also more likely to take on roles of leadership and they are more likely to go on to advanced study. So talk to your child. See if she or he has an interest in taking advanced courses. Consider your time and your commitments. And let the Wichita Falls Independent School District help your children be the best that they can be.